وأشهدوا أن لا إله إلا الله اللهم صلي وسلم وبارك على سيدنا ونبينا وأميرنا ومولانا وشفعينا وحبيبنا محمد طه ياسين خاتم النبيين المرسل رحمة للعالمين من رب العالمين صلى الله عليه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Praise be to Allah, Lord of all the worlds, who through his eternal word does not cease to be praised, the compassionate, the merciful, who by his mercy has stirred up within us gratitude for his goodness, wherewith he has enriched us and inspired us to praise and to glorify him. The limits of his favor and the bounds of his praise were extended when he promised to those grateful for his bounty still more blessings. And he spread wide the carpet of his assembly to those who remember him. He it is who has brought into subjection all things according to his wisdom and equity. It is he who has willed by his power so that by his authority, the mover remains still, and the still moves, the controller of expansion and contraction, the bust and the qabd, the knower of al-ghaib, the unseen, who for not even the weight of an atom, or less than that, or greater than that, either in the heavens or upon the earth, escapes him. He is the first and the last the outer and the inner, who will awal, will akhiru, will zahiru, will batin. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the praise of those who know him, with true knowledge of him. We give thanks to him with the expressions of gratitude of those who acknowledge the perfection of his goodness and his favor. We bear witness that there is no deity other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, having no companion with an affirmation to which no doubt is attached and before which no door closes from accepting. And we testify that in speaking of human perfection, that we speak first and last and always of our liege Lord, Sayyidina Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the perfect worshiper, his slave, his prophet, his messenger, chosen from the mine of pure nobility, selected from a family of honor. Allah bless him and save him with a blessing that will bring us to him and gather us around him on that day of assembly and reckoning, may Allah be pleased with his family, with his helpers, with his descendants, with the people of his household, with his illustrious companions, the best of friends, as long as a star will shine, as long as the moon shall rise, and as long as a cloud shall float above this earth. In praising the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I praise all of the Prophets and Messengers, blessings of Allah and peace be upon them. For as I bear witness that Muhammad is the Prophet and Messenger of Allah Subhanahu, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, so do I bear witness that there are upwards of 124,000 Prophets that Allah has sent to the people of the world. And from among the many, I bear specific witness to the Prophethood of Adam, of Idris, of Nuh, of Hud, of Saleh, of Lut, of Ibrahim, of Ismail, of Isaac, of Ya'aqub, of Yusuf, of Shu'aib, of Musa, of Harun, Dawood, Suleiman, Ayyub, Dhul Kifl, Yunus, Ilyas, Elyasa, Zakaria, Yahya, and Isa, 
all of whom are related, and peace and blessings of Allah be upon them all. Each of them, my brothers and sisters, is a source of guidance and a paradigm of perfection in his state, in his works, and in his knowledge, in ahwal, mu'amulat, and al-ilm. And each of these left an inheritance, wiratha, and those of his community who came after them received their inheritance, an inheritance existent both in the world of that which is revealed, the world of al-zahir, and in the world of that which is concealed, al-batin. Each of them had his station, his maqam, with Allah. And although in consonance, uh, consonance with the words of Allah, la nufariku bain ahadim minhum, we also bear witness that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, as Allah has named him, khatama nabiyyin, the seal of all the prophets. And as such, it is he who is the ultimate inheritor. It is he who is the ultimate inheritor of all the prophetic states, of all the prophetic works, of all the prophetic knowledge of those who went before him, blessings of Allah and peace be upon him and them. As such, he is the perfect and perfected man, al-insan al-kamu, whose station is the universal station which embraces all of the states and is itself eternally unencompassed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fil Quran al Karim yaqul ba'du a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim wa bismillahir rahmanir rahim ma kana muhammadin aba ahadin mir rijalikum walakin rasulullah wa khatama nabiyyin he blessings of Allah and peace be upon him it is he who is the mercy to all the worlds a rahmat lil alamin it is he who is from the very one whose mercy embraces all things, who teaches us what we do not know, and is forever haris al mu'minin over us, each and every one of us who believe, that we may be among those bright-faced beings who dwell in the mercy of Allah forever. It is he who is effulgent, from his absorption in his beloved. It is he upon whose face no shadow shows. To his friends he is a beacon, whose light outshines the brightness of the moon, whose light outshines the brightness of the sun. It is he, blessings of Allah and peace be upon him. And though his face shines with the light of the full moon. Yet well he knows, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that all of his light is but the reflection of that light, a nur, which is the light of Allah, Allahu nuru samawati wa For he was not only the most noble of men, for it was he who was not only the most noble of men, but he who was the most humble of all men. Blessings of Allah and peace be upon him. He is a clear proof, as Allah said, from your Lord, a guidance and a mercy. The clear proof of the secret contained in his veridical saying, I was a prophet while Adam was still between clay and water. <laughs> Or in another place, it is said, between spirit and flesh, bayna ruhi wal jasad. A secret attested to by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu in his saying, that when the Messenger of Allah was asked when the office of Prophet had been established for him, he replied, when Adam had not yet his spirit joined to his body. This may be, my brothers and sisters, what is meant by the prophetic saying, I